Hello, in this video, we will look at software development process. The software development lifecycle is a multi-stage process that includes requirements, specification, analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Developing a software is an engineering process. Software products, no matter how large or how small, have the same life cycle. Requirement specification, analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. This is the life cycle. This is also called waterfall. It's like a waterfall model. Requirement specification is a formal process that seeks to understand the problem. This phase involves close interaction between users and developers. Most of the examples in this book are simple and their requirements are clearly stated. In the real world, however, problems are not always well defined. Developers need to work closely with their customers, individuals or organizations that will use the software and study the problem carefully to identify what software must do. System analysis seeks to analyze the data flow and to identify the system's input and output. When you perform analysis, it helps to identify what the output is first, then figure out what input you need in order to produce the output. System design is to design a process for obtaining the output from the input. This first involves the use of many levels of abstraction to break down the problem into manageable components and design strategies for implementing each component. You can view each component as a subsystem that performs a specific function of the system. The essence of system analysis and system design is input, process, and output. I P O. Implementation involves translating the system design into programs. Separate programs are written for each component, then integrated to work together. This first requires the use of a programming language such as C++, the implementation involves coding, self-testing, and debugging. Testing ensures the code meets the requirement specification and weeds out bugs. An independent team of software engineers not involved in the design and implementation of the product usually conducts such testing. The primary mechanism for use, depending on the type of software, it may be installed on each user's machine or installed on a server accessible on the internet. Maintenance is concerned with updating and improving the product. A software product must continue to perform 
and improve in an average-involving environment. This requires periodic updates of the product to fix newly discovered bugs and incorporate changes. To see the software development process in action, we will create a program that computes loan payments. The loan can be a car loan, a student loan, or a home mortgage loan. We will look at the case study of using this process in the next video.